Hey, just tell me, since you've been working so close to this situation, Brother Marcus, how, how does a family father, man, who, who's from Lawrence High School or that community, how is the, how's the sensitivity of the fact that you say you have two sons, I have a son, brothers and sisters, how do the life of, you know, the, the, the emotional support or feeling of the hurt and pain that the loss, I mean, I mean, Kim, is Lawrence County, is Valdosta, are they crying? Are they saddened? I mean, what, I mean, how do they accept their child or, 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 or we know about their football, we know about their elementary, military, and their uh, middle schools, but how are they accepting this here knowledge or information that's coming back that just sounds so crazy of all the cover-ups and, and what you have been taught, what you have disclosed here this evening? How they handle it with, personally? With, with, with the parents? I mean, just the community, the community. other parents, you know? Would I, would I be correct, sir, if I say you're not from here? I've been here for a long time. I mean, but, yeah. but not from here. Well, you know what I'm connecting with? I'm connecting with it. When I was in high school, we got a call that one of our buddies, with a, fire, uh, a car full of our buddies, ran into the back of a parked car. Mm -hmm. And we immediately went to the scene of that accident. And we didn't see how anybody was going to be like. We all became nervous. We all became sad. Mm -hmm. So how do it, it, how it, do a community it, see an action it, like this and that, this injustice uh, have been unaddressed for so long? Yes, sir. I know exactly where you're going with it. Uh, I was just trying to uh, facetiously make a point. Uh, Lowndes County is like uh, Forsyth County. Lowndes County is like uh, <laughs> Douglas County. Uh, we kind of get it twisted being here in ATL in Atlanta uh, because everything is everything is black and it's happening and it's, it's, it's upbeat, it's modern. Brother Marcus, are yourself. you telling me there's a, in, a high level insensitivity from the white community about the death of, the, of this child? I'm telling you, if you take yourself 30 minutes in any direction from this studio that you in Georgia, Jack, you in the red clay of Georgia, it just is, it, it is not just the white community that is insensitive. It is a lot of our own community that is also insensitive that come from that mindset uh, of a small southern town. Uh, they think about the conclusion of the investigation. The investigation was closed. They stamped Kendrick Johnson accidental positional asphyxia. And if it wasn't for the family and others, that would have been it. That was the reason of death that they gave this mother and father and the community of this child. Now, uh, since this has been ongoing, you have some very frustrated people down there in Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, you have people that are saying all kind of vile and deplorable things about this mother and father and myself. Uh, for that matter, that uh, they're just in this for money. This is an accident. They are tarnishing their child's name by continuing this pursuit. Uh, man, <laughs> Lowndes County remind, reminds you of the town that Mississippi Burning highlighted uh, in that major motion picture. Uh, it is a very preserved southern town that does not like this national attention because they are used to the things being quiet and as they were. Uh, but I am taking a lot of pride by being with Mr. and Mrs. Johnson and you. shaking up. Well, tell me, tell me this. Um, how close is the governor eye on this matter? I mean, this, 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 is, this is a black eye to the state of Georgia. I mean, this thing has to uh, unfold. You mean, you mean the same governor that's denying the millions of dollars to provide health care for people here in well, the state. You, know, we, we, you we, mean we, you I'm mean blessed. the same governor who's who whose wife uh, 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 says that when she was teaching school, she could tell which kids were going to jail and which one would be professional. You mean our redneck governor Nathan Deal here that uh, gave the commencement speech at uh, Morehouse School of Medicine. He doesn't provide the health care that, that has been allocated uh, uh, by the federal government, but then he still speaks before graduating black doctors. You mean that governor? Uh, 
I, I think wow. he could care less uh, about Kendrick. And, and let me say this, because this is why I probably don't uh, uh, get uh, many awards from various organizations. But it's my understanding that the Urban League uh, has an upcoming function. And shame on you, Urban League. And they are giving Governor Nathan Deal Champion of Criminal Justice Reform Award. That must be one hell of a check coming from the state. No. Give me that, Governor. No, no, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that. Now, there's some great honorees, uh, good friends of mine, uh, uh, Derek Bowles, a good friend, and, and Attorney Molly Davis, who deserve to be an honoree. But, uh, gentlemen, that should be an interesting table that you sit at with the governor that day. 